This week, 346 new stalls were installed throughout the United States, bringing the total to 53,556. <clears throat> Blink added five stations. Red E added one station. Pilot Fly and J added three stations. Electrify America added one station. ChargePoint added 27. EVgo added three. And EV Connect added eight. Let's go ahead and get into the data. For Blink, there's really nothing to call out. This is very typical behavior for them. One thing to note is that their activity seems to be <clears throat> very steady as of late. Uh, again, but if you look at these open dates, they're kind of all over the place. So I'm not really sure what to make about that unless we can assume that what they're doing is adding historical data. So I'm not quite sure. Next one is Ready. They had one station in Michigan, four stalls. Pilot Flying J added three stations. Franklin, Kentucky, Portersville, uh, Pennsylvania. This one was a bit of a sleeper for me. It was on PlugShare, it just wasn't on my radar. And it went from being spotted under construction to open in a pretty short amount of time. It was like three weeks. Uh, so for me, it was a sleeper, but someone else had it spotted out there. And Springdale, Arkansas. Electrify America, this one is a bit of an oddity. If you read the description for the station name, it says test purposes only, lab location, and it's IKEA, which probably means IKEA is getting ready to do a Electrify America commercial build at their stores, is kind of how I interpret this. It's only one stall. And when I did a Google search, sure enough, I found back in 2022, there was an announcement that IKEA was going to be working with Electrify America to put in public DC fast chargers at their stores. And it says um, 2025, so I guess I don't really know what to make of this. But anyway, it looks like IKEA is getting started with the build with Electrify America in order to put DC fast chargers at their store. Next one is ChargePoint. And I'm thankful that it fits on one page because last week it didn't. Let's see. Uh, nothing really to call out here. I did combine some of these. So you can see Shoreline Washington has a four stall station. And um, this one down here, this Honda has two stalls. Another four stall in Washington. So I'm sorry, that was the same one. I, my apologies. So two stall in Connecticut, four stall in Washington, and two stall down here in ME. I think that's Maine. EVgo opened three, two in California, one in Massachusetts. Pretty big ones for them, so they're continuing on with a very active season. So congratulations to EVgo to being able to penetrate California. And it does seem like not many CPOs can open up stations in California, but EVgo is one of the exceptions to that rule. EV Connect, two four stalls, one three stall, one two stall, and a couple of ones. This is pretty typical behavior for them, except for the two four stalls. Normally they don't open a four stall station. One of them is at a four dealership. Um, so the uh, Ford, what do they call it? Not the Blue Oval Network or the Ford something network at um, the dealerships seem to be starting to increase the stall counts uh, that they typically put in. So that's encouraging. And we have heard good reports that the Ford uh, network at the dealerships are welcoming and available to the public. Some dealership DC fast chargers are not. Here's an honorable mention I came across. So Amazon Fresh opened three one-stall DC fast chargers with Shell Recharge this past week. So I'm not quite sure what this means. I didn't look it up in PlugShare. I suspect what these are going to be used for are delivery vehicles. We know that Amazon is very heavily into the electrification of their delivery fleet. And very likely, these are just DC fast chargers in order to support the Amazon Fresh food delivery um, vehicles. Anyway, thanks for watching.